Well, good evening, everybody. This is WBKB meteorologist Ryan Crump. I hope you all having a good evening so far. Hope you enjoyed the sunshine. I hope you enjoyed the above, above average temperatures today because tomorrow we're going to see the exact opposite. It's a cold front that's going to be coming through the area and briefly drop our temperatures back down to average or even slightly below average, especially on our Saturday. I told you that. Let's go do this forecast. But tonight we're going to have to worry about some patchy fall. Yes, we'll be surprised if that occurs as we go to the overnight hours. So if you saw some earlier this morning, well, Yes, but you might even see it possibly again as you go to the overnight hours. And like I said, temperatures are going to briefly be below average for your Friday and your Saturday. So don't put away those winter coats yet, but you're going to want to put them aside again once you get to early next week. Because guess what? We could be talking about 60 degree high for next week. I'll show you that on my seven day forecast. Now, of course, the high temperature at Alpena today, that should say 50 degrees, not 48, 50 degrees. 32 being the normal high, so that was 18 degrees above average for this time of the year. 61 was the record high back in 2017. Wouldn't be surprised that next week on Tuesday, we could be breaking or tying a record. So keep that in mind as we go through next week. 24, negative 24 was a record low back in 1936. And yes, the temperatures are going to be colder tomorrow. Much colder. It's going to feel much colder at least. But the funny thing about it, it's still going to be above average or, or where we should be for this time of the year. Average high is 32 degrees. Well, we're going to be right at or even below that for your day on your Friday and even your Saturday, too. As you're going to see a few more clouds in the area, this will be thanks to a cold front. Don't rule out some lake effect snow as well as you go through your Friday and Saturday. That is not ruled out, even though I don't have it in the forecast. That's a possibility that we could still see some lake effect snow showers, but that's only short lived because our temperatures are going to rebound significantly going to Sunday and to Monday. We're going to be right back into the upper 40s and close to 50 degrees. But look at Tuesday. That's what I want you to pay attention to. Tuesday, we're talking about 60 degree temperatures, 60 degrees. That is going to be well above average or 32 degree average for this time of the year. That could potentially tie a record. Temperature outlook tells us this too. Through March the 2nd, most of the country is going to be above average. Now, talking about the parts of the Rockies, we're talking about the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley. We're talking about the Carolinas, the parts of the South, the Northeast, all going to be well above average for this time of the year through March, guys. Now, keep in mind that Thursday or, or, or Friday, better yet, of next week is going to be start our unofficial start of, of spring. Meteorological start of spring starts on Thursday or Friday. I mean, I keep saying Thursday, Friday of next week. So it's going to feel a lot like spring as well going forward. Why? A winds. A winds play a huge role in our temperatures and what type of weather that we get. If it's coming out of the northwest, we're going to get cooler, drier air. If it's coming out of the south, or the Gulf of Mexico, well, we're going to see warmer, more moist air. It's not going to be so much moist, but it's certainly going to be warmer until we get to or later on tonight where our winds are going to turn around to the northwest and bring us some cooler air into the region. You see that here, north-northwest winds. And as we go through Friday and even into your Saturday, we're going to see cooler temperatures. And yes, below average for your Saturday. But as we go through Sunday, Take a look. We're going to be right back out of the south southwest, and that's going to bring us some warmer air into our region and bring us some much warmer temperatures, especially on our Tuesday. Our Tuesday is going to be spectacularly and when it comes to spring like temperatures. If you like spring like temperatures, well, that's the uh, type of weather for you. But before we get there, we got to deal with this cold front that's going to come through the area. As you might know, some lake effect snow could be occurring in some of our areas as well. But once we get past that, our temperatures are going to warm right back up later on for this week. So, yes, even though it's going to be cold, we're going to go right back to spring like temperatures. Now, tonight we're going to see partly cloudy skies. Again, some patchy fog could be possible. Low temperature, 26 degrees in Rochester City, 26 in Onaway, 29 in Mile, 29 in Alpena, 28 in Oscola, 29 in Thomas, and 30 in West Branch. Winds will be out of the west at 10 miles an hour with gusts as high as 25 miles an hour. And not going to be the same when it comes to our temperatures on your Fridays. We're going to see uh, experience much colder temperatures. We're talking about only 30s compared to 50s that we saw today. 30 degree temperatures. We're going to still see our same amount of sunshine, but the temperatures are going to suffer because the, the cold front means the winds turn around to the northwest 
and we could possibly see some lake effect snow. Don't be surprised. High temperatures only 33 degrees at Alpena, 35 in our school, 36 at Tawas. The freezing market mile at 36 in West Branch. Winds will be out of north northwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour with gusts as high as 35 miles an hour, which is going to create a windshield and it's going to feel much colder. Seven day forecast tells us this it's going to be mostly cloudy, colder for your day on your Friday. And yes, like I said, the winds are going to be picking up as well going into your Friday. Then we're going to be cold again on your Saturday. Then our warming trend is going to begin. We're talking about back to 40s on Sunday and Monday, but then we take a major jump on Tuesday. It's 61 degrees. We're going to have some rain in the area. Wednesday, it's not going to be too far off, too. 56 degrees. But guys, after that, we're going to have another cold front come through. And our temperatures are going to go right back to where it started. Only 33 degrees. So this warm up that we have next week is only going to be brief before we see another drop off in our temperatures for your Thursday and next week. And yes, snow is going to be back in the forecast. So don't put away those winter coats quite yet. This has been WBKB meteorologist Ryan Crump. I hope you all have a good evening and get ready for the winter to return.